What's up guys? Welcome back to the Foam Warriors YouTube channel. My name is Patrick. We are at the house today in my office and we're about to review the Nerf Rival Chronos. Now let me start by saying this is a very popular blaster at all of our locations. Everybody loves these. They only hold five rounds, but they are rival rounds. They're not darts. They are awesome. These things are, are pretty accurate, you know. Um, they're definitely a lot better than darts. You can run with these things. This is a pretty awesome blaster to take to an arena. I will say that. I keep one, but I keep one as a secondary and not as a primary. But there are times that I go in and I just want to play with my chronos. Uh, it takes a lot more skill to, to hit people with five rounds than it does if you have something that's, that's full auto and it's just spewing foam at your opponent. And actually, this is my chronos. As you can tell, we've done a little bit of modifications to mine. Uh, as far as the priming grip goes, this thing's a lot better. Uh, looks a lot better too, right? Um, we took away the little little flappy door that you put ammo down in. Um, and then we put a K26 in this. I actually think that we went a little bit bigger than a K26. And of course, have a custom paint job on this guy. But this is the Kronos that I play with when I go into the arena. I keep it on my side, so I'm ready. If I run out of my primary, I'm ready to go. My Kronos is serious. But back to this blaster. The stock Kronos is one of the favorites at our Foam Warriors locations. People love to come in and use these all the time. Everybody uh, knows these are really easy to mod. Almost anybody can do it. We'll probably put up a video about modding these soon. Um, but I'll tell you some of the things that, that we like, our customers like, is that it's easy to run with. You can play capture the flag and stuff like that easy with this. You can maneuver around in the arena easy with one of these things. Um, and also you got some tactical rails up here on top, which are pretty cool. So you can put scopes and stuff like that on there. It fits into the holsters really, really easy. Uh, you've got a little uh, place here for a strap. You've got... Um, and as, as far as using this, it's really easy. All you do is pull it back. Now, again, I think they should completely get rid of this little flappy thing. It makes no sense. I got rid of it on mine. Almost all of our reps use these in the arena, and none of us have this little door. But as far as loading, it's super easy to do. I'm hiding behind a barrier. I'm going to pop five rounds in there. Boom. Just push them down. You don't want to do any more than five because you can, you'll can. you jam this thing up. But you put it down in there. You close it. Fire. And as, as far as firing again, it's really easy. I'm just, boom, I'm ready to go. That's how quick that is. And I'm ready to go again. So we love the Kronos. Uh, one of the only um, couple drawbacks, like I said, is just that this little flappy door, of course, we hate the safeties. And air restrictors blow out of these um, kind of easy sometimes, depending on who's using them. And other than that, the only other complaint that we ever hear or the only downside to the Kronos is that it only holds five rounds. So remember, if you're going to go into the arena with the Kronos, you're going to test your skills that day because you're going to be up against Prometheus's and Nemesis and Percy's and blasters like that. Now let's go and fire this thing. I'm only going to do it one time. I'm not going to, I'm just going to show you the accuracy. I'm not going to edit this and do this a hundred times. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to put two targets up. I'm going to fire the five rounds that are in here and we'll see how accurate it is.